So here it is, the Fantex 120mm T30, uh, the first PC fan that claims to be better than the Noctua NFA 12x25. And yeah, Fantex have hyped this up quite a lot. And a lot of people wanna know if it is actually better than these brown Noctuas here. So let's talk about that today. Starting off, it does have a very textured look just like the Noctua, and that's because it's constructed of a very similar material, which is a liquid crystal polymer. So the construction, including the fan blades, is very, very rigid. And the distance between the fan frame and the fan blade is extremely small. There are a few main differences though. Firstly, the Fantex is a 30 millimeter thick fan as opposed to the industry standard, which is 25 millimeters. So even if the T30 does beat the Noctua, it's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison. Like I'm sure if Noctua made a 30 mil version of their own NFA 12, that would probably be slightly better than the current 25 mil version. They haven't done that though. And although there are a few instances out there, usually in ITX cases where a 30 mil thick fan and just won't fit. In most situations, you probably do have room for that extra five millimeters. The other main difference though is of course the color, which for the general consumer is actually a massive point. For people who don't associate the Noctua color theme with premium performance, they probably just see this ugly brown fan. And although I have grown to like them over time, I would hand down choose the neutral variant instead. The T30 isn't perfect though. It's far from a clean black looking fan. It's more of a dusty gray look instead but a lot of people will still prefer this over brown. The T30 also has three different RPM limits, which can be changed with this little switch on the fan hub. And those are 1200 RPM, 2000 RPM, and the fastest mode being a deafening 3000 RPM. You can also daisy chain multiple T30 fans together rather than using splitters, which is really nice and handy. But I would have preferred if the cable measurements were just a little bit shorter here just to create an overall cleaner look. Overall though, it is a pretty neat feature. Now to save us a bunch of time here, and I mean days and days of testing, uh, this video will solely focus on comparing these two fans together because long story short, you know, comparing these to the Thermaltake clones, the Arctic P12s, the Gentle Typhoons, and so many other fans out there, the Noctua's always came out on top. They have the lowest vibration, the lowest motor noise, and the airflow operation is really quiet too. So there's really no point going back and including all of those fans yet again, just to come back to the same conclusion and finding that the Noctua's are the better 120 mil fan. What we really wanna find out today is whether these are in fact better. So the first test that we're doing here is testing these fans as a case fan. Some of you probably remember this ITX PC build that I completed recently. I actually did a full step-by-step -step guide on how to put this together together if you're interested in checking that out. But yeah, I've been using this as my second system whenever I need to test things like monitors and gaming mice. And so it's been really handy having that second build around. At the top of the build, we have two Noctua NFA 12s exhausting air being built up within the case. And a lot of the focus here is to pull away the hot air from the flow through fan on the RTX 3080 FE. Now, before we take a look at the thermal performance, let's first just take a look at how loud these fans are when installed inside the case. So here we have the fan speed, plotted on the x-axis and the noise measured in dba on the y-axis so ideally we'd have the lowest points on the curve as possible and yeah the noctua is in fact quieter especially at 1500 rpm and 1750 rpm at least when installed in the case since the fantex t30 is a thicker fan it's closer to the top panel of the case that means that turbulence and airflow noise are actually going to be worse here compared to the slimmer noctua and that's exactly what we see here's an idea of what they sound like at one 1000 RPM and then at 1500 RPM. However, although being slightly louder than the Noctua's, the Fantex T30 seems to move a bunch more air. I guess that's the main trade-off of being a thicker fan. Here we're taking a look at the temperature of our RTX 3080 FE after 40 minutes of running Heaven 4.0. The GPU clock speed, voltage, and fan speed have been completely locked, and the only variable we're changing here is the fan. And still, we see almost a three degree improvement on the GPU by going with the Fantex T30. That I was not expecting at all. Again, we're 
just changing the fan. So although the GPU temperature starts off the same between the two at the start of the test, the difference between them grows as the T30 is able to exhaust a bit more heat. Sure, the Noctua runs a bit quieter when they're both locked at 1300 RPM here, 41.1 dBA versus 41.5 on the Fantex, but even if we were to noise normalize that very small difference, the Fantex would still end up leading by at least a couple of degrees. So as a case fan, especially in a restricted scenario like an ITX case, the Fantex does seem like the better pick over the Noctua if you have the room for it. But what about when tested on an open test bench and when strapped to a radiator? Well, then the noise performance is a lot more closely matched between the two. Here we don't have to deal with clearances and panel cutouts and air turbulence, and so we're purely measuring the noise generated from the fan itself. The T30 is the slightly louder fan overall, but not too much louder than most people will notice, and the two fans are pretty much identical at 1500 RPM. Again, here's an idea of what that sounds like. As for thermal performance and how it handles our overclocked 10900K here in Blender, honestly, these results are kind of crazy. So while the noise that these fans make when strapped to a radiator is pretty similar, there is clearly a thermal advantage here by going with the thicker fans. And it's not a small difference either. 5 degrees C is what we're looking at if we just take the average of the final two minutes of each graph, and that's a big difference when we're just talking about fans. That's enough to maybe give you a bit of extra room for overclocking, maybe just a bit of extra peace of mind when it comes to system thermals, or more likely, your system will run a little bit quieter since it'll be operating on the lower end of the fan curve. So yeah, big props to Fantex on the T30. Can highly, highly recommend these. And honestly, I did not expect that much of a thermal difference versus the Noctua NFA 12 by 25s. I mean, I've been using these in how many builds now because they are just the best 120 more option that you can buy. And to find out that these come in and just pretty much stomp them uh, in terms of thermal performance and the amount of airflow moved, yeah, that is pretty crazy. Having said that, I think a lot of us would expect the 5mm thicker fan to be the better fan. I mean, if these were worse than the Noctua's, then that would be really even more surprising, I think. So yeah, 5mm thicker, uh, there is a benefit here. Just also consider the Noctua's as an option as well, because in some cases, some radiators and maybe some liquid cooled builds, you might not have that extra 5mm clearance. If you do have that extra clearance available in your system, though, these are absolutely what I'd be going for. And I'll definitely be using these in some future builds. So really hope this comparison helped you out. As always, a huge thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.